Randolph Scott, the beloved Hollywood actor, was known for his rugged cowboy roles and charming smile, but there was more to him than met the eye. After his death, a shocking secret came to light, leaving fans in disbelief. Dive into the fascinating story of this classic leading man, and discover what lay behind the image he presented on screen. There's more to uncover about the actor's life and career, so let's delve into his world. Stay tuned for more intriguing details about this Hollywood legend. George Randolph Scott was born on January 23, 1898, in Orange County, Virginia. However, he was raised in Charlotte, North Carolina, as the second of six siblings. The Scott family had a strong Scottish heritage, and George Grant Scott, Randolph's father, was North Carolina's first certified accountant. Growing up in a large family, Randolph had a typical childhood, filled with both joys and challenges. His father's accounting career provided the family with a comfortable living, allowing them to focus on their shared Scottish heritage and values. The young Randolph often accompanied his father on business trips, exposing him to various professional settings and interactions. As a child, Randolph developed a keen interest in the arts, particularly theater and storytelling. He would often put on performances for his family and friends, showcasing his natural talent for acting and entertaining. This early exposure to the arts would eventually pave the way for his successful career as a Hollywood actor. Despite the family's focus on their Scottish heritage, Randolph's father encouraged him to explore his interests and pursue his dreams. When the opportunity arose for Randolph to attend a prestigious drama school, his father offered his full support, recognizing his son's potential and passion for the stage. Thus, the foundation was laid for the illustrious career of Randolph Scott, the actor who would become synonymous with classic Western films and captivate audiences for decades to come. Randolph Scott, the actor known for his classic film roles, had a rich background in education and athletics. He attended Woodbury Forest School, a prestigious institution that provided him with a well-rounded education. Randolph was not just an academic student, but he also excelled in various sports. His athletic prowess was evident in football, baseball, horseback racing, and swimming. He was a natural athlete, making a mark in every sport he participated in. In 1917, the actor put his education and athletic career on hold to serve his country during World War I. He joined the North Carolina National Guard, undergoing rigorous training that further honed his physical and mental strength. His dedication and commitment led him to rise to the rank of sergeant. Randolph was deployed to France, where he faced the harsh realities of war. Despite the challenging circumstances, he remained steadfast and served his country with honor and dignity. After the war, he participated in the post-war occupation of Germany, contributing to the rebuilding efforts. Randolph's service during World War I was a significant chapter in his life. It shaped his character and instilled in him a sense of duty and responsibility that he carried throughout his career. His military service was not just a duty, but a transformative experience that added depth to his persona. After returning home in 1919 from his service in the First World War, Randolph Scott decided to pursue higher education. He attended Georgia Tech and later transferred to the University of North Carolina, where he focused on textile engineering. This shift in academic focus came after a back injury put an end to his dreams of playing football. However, the world of education wasn't where Randolph's heart truly lay. He found himself captivated by the glamour and excitement of Hollywood. With a dream in his heart, he managed to secure a meeting with the renowned filmmaker, Howard Hughes. This meeting marked the beginning of a remarkable journey in the silver screen for the actor. The actor's rugged good looks and charming demeanor quickly caught the attention of audiences and filmmakers alike. Over the years, he starred in numerous westerns, war films, and romantic dramas, solidifying his place as a classic leading man. His work continues to be cherished by older adults and new generations alike, a testament to his enduring appeal and the timeless quality of his films. In the early days of his career, the actor Randolph Scott began with minor roles in films such as Sharpshooters and Weary River. His dedication and talent were evident even in these small parts. One notable role was in the 1929 film The Virginian, where he showcased his skills. It was around this time that Randolph received advice from the renowned director Cecil B. DeMille, who suggested he enroll in the Pasadena Playhouse. This institution was known for its rigorous training and classic repertoire. Randolph took this advice to heart and became a student at the Playhouse. His time at the Pasadena Playhouse proved invaluable. He appeared in numerous productions, including the timeless classic Julius Caesar. These stage experiences helped to refine his acting skills and deepen his understanding of the craft. 
The Playhouse was a stepping stone for many aspiring actors of the time, and Randolph was no exception. His dedication and talent shone through, preparing him for the successful career that lay ahead. In 1932, the career of actor Randolph Scott took a significant turn with his role in the Western film Heritage of the Desert. This movie became a stepping stone for him, establishing his place as a prominent lead in the genre. Little did people know that this was just the start of the actor's journey to demonstrate his wide range of talents in various roles over the years. Throughout the 1930s, the actor continued to surprise audiences by taking up diverse parts in films across multiple genres. He earned praise for his performance in dramatic pieces, while also making a mark in musicals and comedies. His ability to adapt to different character types displayed his true potential and cemented his reputation as a versatile performer. Audiences marveled at how easily he could shift between intense drama and lighthearted humor. They admired his commanding presence in historical epics and war movies, but they were equally delighted by his charming portrayals in romantic comedies. With each passing film, it became increasingly clear that the actor had far more depth than what met the eye. However, despite his success outside of westerns, the actor never completely abandoned the genre that gave him his big break. From time to time, he returned to cowboy roles, reminding fans why they fell in love with him in the first place. Yet, even when playing these familiar characters, the actor managed to bring something fresh to the table, proving yet again his undeniable talent and unwavering dedication to his craft. After parting ways with Paramount Pictures in the late 1930s, esteemed actor Randall Scott found a new home at 20th Century Fox. This transition proved pivotal for his career, leading to meaty roles in acclaimed movies such as Jesse James and Frontier Marshall. In these films, the actor demonstrated remarkable depth and versatility, delivering nuanced performances that left audiences clamoring for more. As the 1940s dawned, the actor remained busy, gracing screens with his commanding presence in classics like Virginia City and Western Union. These films offered him ample opportunity to display his talent for conveying rugged masculinity while also capturing the subtleties of human emotion. Critical reception was overwhelmingly positive, further solidifying the actor's status as a Hollywood mainstay. Not one to rest on his laurels, the actor approached each role with unwavering dedication and professionalism. He understood the power of cinema to both entertain and educate, striving to make every performance resonate with viewers. Whether playing real-life figures or fictional characters, he brought authenticity to each role, making them feel alive and relatable despite their larger-than-life surroundings. Throughout this period, the actor deftly navigated the ever-evolving landscape of American filmmaking. While genres rose and fell in popularity, westerns held a special place in the hearts of moviegoers, and the actor played no small part in maintaining that appeal. His commitment to the genre helped elevate it above simplistic caricatures, offering rich narratives underscored by complex themes and compelling drama. To this day, fans continue to cherish the actor's contributions to cinematic history. His work serves as a testament to the transformative potential of storytelling, reminding us all of our capacity for growth, resilience, and redemption. Indeed, even now, decades after they first premiered, these films remain relevant, etching themselves indelibly into the annals of popular culture. After being rejected from serving in World War II due to a back injury, the actor Randolph Scott still found ways to support the war effort. He teamed up with Joe Dorita to entertain troops and boost morale. Additionally, Scott grew food on his ranch to supply the government during the war. Once the war ended, the actor's career shifted towards westerns, a genre that would become synonymous with his name. In films like Abilene Town, Scott portrayed brave lawmen and heroes, solidifying his status as a leading man in westerns. His rugged good looks and commanding presence made him a perfect fit for these roles, and audiences flocked to see him in action. Throughout his career, the actor remained dedicated to the western genre, and his contributions helped to shape its enduring popularity. Even today, his classic westerns continue to be cherished by older adults who appreciate the genre's timeless appeal. The actor's legacy in westerns is a testament to his talent and versatility, and his performances continue to resonate with audiences to this day. In the latter part of his career, actor Randolph Scott collaborated closely with director Bud Budiker and writer Burt Kennedy on several acclaimed western films. Together, they created some of the most memorable movies of this genre, delving into complex human themes while set against the rugged landscape of the American West. 
Boticher, and Kennedy had great admiration for Scott's talents both on and off screen. They found him to be a true gentleman who was always willing to support up and coming performers. Kennedy recalled how the actor would frequently suggest extra lines and expanded roles for promising young stars, revealing his generosity towards others. Scott's collaboration with Boetiker and Kennedy began when he sought out the director after being impressed by his work. Their partnership resulted in seven successful films between 1956 and 1960, including Seven Men From Now, The Tall Tea, Decision at Sundown, Buchanan Rides Alone, Westbound, The Rise, and Fall of Legs Diamond, and Comanche Station. These films showcased Scott's understated yet powerful acting style, which perfectly suited the gritty realism of these stories. Despite being known primarily for his Western roles, Scott had actually appeared in various genres throughout his lengthy career. However, it was his later collaborative efforts with Boetiker and Kennedy that truly cemented his status as a screen legend. Through their combined creativity, they crafted unforgettable tales of heroism, honor, and moral complexity, tales that continue to resonate with audiences today. It is worth noting that even though these films were produced during a time when the Western genre was evolving rapidly, Scott remained committed to portraying authentic characters rather than resorting to stereotypes. He brought depth and nuance to each role, elevating the material beyond mere formulaic storytelling. This commitment to quality can be seen clearly in every frame of their joint endeavors. Moreover, Scott's gentle demeanor extended beyond his professional life. Those who worked with him often spoke highly of his kindness and respectfulness. His ability to foster positive relationships translated seamlessly onto the screen, creating an atmosphere of trust and camaraderie among cast members. As a result, the productions became greater than the sum of their parts, resulting in timeless classics still enjoyed by generations of viewers. In conclusion, Randolph Scott's collaboration with Bud Bodeker and Burt Kennedy marked a significant period in both the actor's career and the evolution of the Western genre. By focusing on human themes and allowing space for emerging talent, they managed to produce a series of exceptional films that have stood the test of time. And through it all, Scott's quiet dignity and genuine warmth shone brightly, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood history. After a successful career spanning several decades, the actor Randolph Scott decided to retire from Hollywood. His last film, Ride the High Country, released in 1962, was a fitting end to his illustrious career. Scott was content with his legacy and achievements in the film industry, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated. In his post-Hollywood life, Randolph Scott found love and companionship in two significant marriages. His first marriage was to Marion Dupont, which lasted from 1936 to 1939. Although their union was short-lived, it was a significant chapter in the actor's personal life. Later, in 1944, Scott married Patricia Stillman, a woman who would remain his partner until his death. Their bond was deep, and she was a constant source of support for him. Despite challenges such as infertility, their relationship remained strong, and they shared a life full of love and mutual respect. Patricia Stillman was more than just a wife to Randolph Scott. She was his confidant, his rock, and his biggest fan. Together, they navigated the ups and downs of life, always finding solace in each other's company. Their love story is a testament to the enduring power of companionship and the ability to find happiness and contentment in life's later chapters. Randolph Scott, known for his rugged good looks and commanding presence on the silver screen, was also a devoted father and philanthropist. After adopting two children, Christopher and Sandra, the actor cherished his role as a father figure finding joy in the simple pleasures of family life. In his retirement, Scott remained committed to giving back to his community and supporting various causes. He was particularly passionate about education, health care, and social welfare organizations, often lending his time and resources to these initiatives. Despite his success in Hollywood, the actor never lost sight of the importance of civic engagement. He remained active in Republican politics, using his platform to advocate for the issues he cared about and make a positive impact on those around him. Through his philanthropic efforts and dedication to his family, Scott left a lasting legacy that extended far beyond his career in film. His commitment to giving back and making a difference in the lives of others serves as an inspiration to this day. Renowned for his work in Western films, the actor Randolph Scott not only left his mark on Hollywood, but also made significant strides in the world of finance. With shrewd investment choices, he built a fortune in real estate and the oil industry. 
Scott's financial success story began during his acting career when he started investing in California real estate. As property values soared, these holdings grew in worth, contributing significantly to his net worth. In addition to real estate, Scott turned his attention to the burgeoning oil industry, becoming a prominent player in the energy sector. His keen business sense and strategic decisions allowed him to amass considerable wealth, securing his status as a formidable force in both entertainment and finance. Despite leaving Hollywood behind, the actor retained strong connections within the industry. He formed lasting friendships with fellow legends like Cary Grant, John Wayne, and Joel McCrea. These relationships demonstrated that even after stepping away from the limelight, Scott remained a cherished member of the Hollywood community. As time passed, appreciation for this classic leading man continued to grow. Fans still admired his impressive body of work, spanning over six decades and encompassing various genres. While primarily known for his roles in Western films, Scott appeared in diverse productions ranging from romance to war dramas. This versatility further solidified his place among cinema greats. The impact of Randolph Scott extends beyond his own filmography. Modern audiences continue to enjoy his movies, marveling at the quality of performances and production values present in this golden age of cinema. Moreover, younger generations have discovered his talent thanks to streaming services and home video releases ensuring that his legacy resonates with contemporary viewers. Even today, the influence of this iconic actor can be seen throughout popular culture. Filmmakers often reference or pay homage to his works, while fans celebrate his birthday and commemorate milestones related to his life and career. Through it all, one thing remains clear, the indelible impression left by Randolph Scott on Hollywood will persist for years to come. And though he may no longer be here, his timeless films continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Rumors about the nature of Randolph Scott's relationship with Cary Grant were persistent in Hollywood. Both actors denied any romantic involvement, maintaining that their bond was strictly platonic. However, the rumors persisted, fueling speculation about a possible romantic connection between the two. The end of Randolph's first marriage to Marion Dupont added fuel to the fire. The couple's relationship had been under strain for some time, with speculation about infidelity and the impact of Scott's Hollywood career on their relationship. The public's fascination with the actor's personal life only grew as a Rizulia tenant despite the rumors and speculation Scott and Grant remained close friends throughout their lives. They worked together on several films, including My Favorite Wife and The Philadelphia Story, and their chemistry on screen was undeniable. However, they continued to insist that their relationship was purely platonic and there is no evidence to suggest otherwise. The end of Scott's first marriage only intensified the rumors about his romantic life. The actor's good looks and charm made him a popular subject of gossip in Hollywood, and his marriage to Dupont had been closely watched by the public. When the marriage ended, speculation about the reasons for their split ran rampant. In the end, the truth about Randolph Scott's personal life may never be fully known. The actor was known for his privacy, and he rarely spoke publicly about his relationships or personal matters. However, the rumors and speculation that surrounded him throughout his career have become a part of his legacy, adding to the mystique of this classic Hollywood star. Renowned actor Randall Scott and his close friend Cary Grant shared a bond that remained unshaken by rumors, standing strong throughout their careers. Following Grant's death in 1986, Scott was deeply affected, succumbing to health issues just a year later. As he entered his twilight years, the actor grappled with heart and lung problems before ultimately passing away on March 2, 1987, aged 89. This beloved figure left behind a legacy cherished by many, having starred in numerous films and television shows during Hollywood's golden era. Despite facing adversity towards the end of his life, the resilient spirit of Randolph Scott continued to resonate among fans even after his departure. The void left by this iconic figure remains palpable underscoring the lasting impact he made upon cinema lovers everywhere. After a successful career spanning over three decades, the actor Randolph Scott finally received posthumous recognition for his contributions to the entertainment industry. In 1960, he was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a testament to his lasting impact on cinema and television. Later, in 1977, the actor was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers, further solidifying his status as a legend in the genre. His legacy continues to be celebrated at the Museum of Western Film History, where fans can learn more about his life and work. When it comes to the personal life of this classic leading man, 
one cannot overlook his deep love and devotion to his wife, Patricia. Upon his passing in 1987, the actor was laid to rest in Elmwood Cemetery in Charlotte, North Carolina, right beside Patricia. This beautiful cemetery serves as a peaceful resting place for both the actor and his beloved spouse, surrounded by lush greenery and tranquil sceneries. Throughout his career, Randolph Scott entertained millions around the globe, leaving behind a rich collection of films that continue to captivate audiences today. Even after his departure from this world, the actor remains etched in our hearts and minds, immortalized through his cinematic works and cherished memories. And so, the story of Randolph Scott lives on, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses who dream of making their mark in the ever-evolving landscape of film and television. Randolph Scott's film roles continue to captivate audiences, even decades after his retirement from acting. The timeless allure of this classic leading man is a testament to his skill and dedication. Despite the rumors and secrets that surrounded his personal life, the enduring legacy of Randolph Scott in Hollywood history remains untarnished. Throughout his career, the actor graced the silver screen with his rugged good looks and commanding presence. His performances in westerns and war films, in particular, resonate with viewers even today. The values he embodied in these roles, courage, determination, and a strong sense of justice, continue to inspire and entertain. The actor's personal life may have been shrouded in mystery, but his professional accomplishments are well documented. Randolph Scott's filmography includes over 100 films, spanning a career that lasted for more than three decades. He worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of his time, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated and studied. The impact of Randolph Scott's career extends beyond the films he starred in. He was a trailblazer in many ways, helping to shape the Western genre and paving the way for future generations of actors. His contributions to the world of film are a vibrant and enduring part of Hollywood history. Even as new actors and films come and go, the legacy of Randolph Scott endures. His roles continue to captivate audiences and inspire new generations of filmmakers. The allure of this classic leading man is a timeless treasure, ensuring that his place in Hollywood history is